I love dark chocolate. Okay. Same. Dark chocolate, good coffee. Dark, ch dark chocolate, good coffee, mm -hmm. and fast cars. I love cars. Always love cars. Learned how to drive when I was 10 years old. Knew how to drive tractors, all that stuff. I loved cars. My first real basic desire was to become a race car driver. Yeah? Okay. Wow. I love, I love the sound of the engine. My wife thinks it's horrible noise. I said, no. Okay, that's the meal. That's the Kidding? meal. Back at two. Ooh. Back at two. I love a big V8, a rumbling V8, a boom, boom, oh, I love that stuff. What do you drive now? Um, a very powerful Mercedes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you like to go, make it go quickly? Unfortunately, yes. Uh -huh. I mean, it can be fun also. People complain about yeah, driving. Yes, that is lunch. Lunch today is 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock sharp. We're picking up with item number 21 in the coffee house. Meanwhile, at 1.30, we will do some dry blocking. We'll block in the psych ward with Mel and Haley, and then we will block in society with Mel, Amelia, Courtney, Mark, Sharon, and Joshua. All that exciting blocking commences at 1.30. We're back on camera, 2 o'clock in the coffee house. Have a great lunch. I'm just getting out the batteries in case something runs out. But you can keep talking. I'm not on mic. Oh. So... so I'm going to have a dove okay. while we are talking, okay, if you don't ahead. mind. Please, be my guest. So, um, I love dark chocolate, okay? Same. If you have oh, so that's right. Now. So dark chocolate, good coffee. Dark chocolate, good coffee. Dark, ch dark chocolate, good coffee, mm -hmm. and fast cars. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Now, I don't have a high-powered Mercedes, but I do have a Mini Cooper, oh. and it gets around. I love the Mini Cooper. Oh. Anyway, what I was saying also was people complain about L.A. and traffic, but it's quite fun to drive around here. Oh, yeah. If you have a fun with it, you have a nice car. <clears throat> You've got to know when and where. And... Um, I used to have a Porsche in the 60s, one of the first 911s. Got five tickets in half a year. Oh, yeah. We're on the freeways or other? No, uh, streets, freeways. Ah, uh, okay. They just look at you. They see the, oh, let's go after them. But do they know, do they, you roll down the window, or you roll down the window and they see you, and do they hesitate? That's a different story. That actually a story that made the rounds in Antelope Valley in the Mojave Desert. We were shooting the Rap Patrol, 1967 to 68, at MGM Studios, and then the Mojave Desert. We did the exteriors, and I had bought that 911 Porsche Targa. Oh, so then if you drive from from here, L.A up the 405, shortly the 5 and the 14, and into the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. Well, the long stretches where you see no one, except, which I found out later, it's a school for the highway patrol. Oh, they train there? They train up there. I found that out later. So I would People would say, well, we c you can stay in, in Lancaster overnight. I said, no, no, I want to drive home. It's about an hour, hour and a half. And why did I want to drive home? Because I love driving a fast car. So in order to not have to change clothes, I drove my Nazi uniform with the boots on the whole thing. I thought, well, no one knows. So one morning, I was a little late. I thought, I better haul ass. So I'm driving through New Hall Pass at 120, 125, 130. Must remember I come from the country of Autobahn, so used to that kind of speed. That's and I right. was sort of boom. And then suddenly out of the corner of my eye I said, wait a minute. Was that a black and white? Keep driving, and suddenly the lights in the back. I said, Oh shit. 
Hey. I knew what the laws were. I said, they're going to throw away the keys. They're going to arrest me. Because it was so high. Well, 125, 130. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I must say, I began to sweat. Uh -huh. I thought, shit. So I thought, you know, comes closer and closer. I pulled over, of course, in my uniform on. So I got out of the car before he could get out of the car. And I stood there in my uniform. Now the show was very popular. It was number one in the ratings for a while in the 60s. So I thought, I'm going to try something. He says, sir, are you aware of how fast you were going? I said, I clicked my ear and said, sir, my men are waiting. I have a war to fight. <laughs> so he looks at me. He turns around, he was trying to st stifle a smile, you know, <laughs> turns back and says, well, now I think I've heard it all. Please drive carefully. I said, yes, sir. I tell you, I almost shit in my pants, you know, <laughs> I'll never forget it. And he'll never forget it. I'm sure he's no, told that story it a made the times. rounds. Oh, okay. It made the rounds all over the Antelope Valley Inn. And, and, oh yeah, it made the round. I'm sure he's still telling that story today. I don't know, but, um, yeah, that was my <laughs> one almost horrendous experience in a Porsche. Uh -huh. okay? So then I thought, I gotta change this stuff. I gotta get a car that looks like a normal car, but is faster than hell. Okay. Those were the AMGs by Mercedes. Okay. They're specially tuned, you know, they whole ass. They have a special engine or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're, they're but they look like a regular Mercedes. All modified. Okay. Look like a regular Mercedes. Uh -huh. Unless you have to know what you're looking at, then you say, oh, wait a minute, AMG. Mm. Mm. Uh, but not, it's not visually. It's not in your face. Challenging uh -huh. to a cop, you know. So I've not been in a Porsche like ever since again. Okay. Never. No. Have you gotten pulled over recently? Or are you no. clear now? No, I no. No. Last time was after I came home from Titanic. I was driving my wife's convertible. And I came from the gym working out. And I mean, you know, where I live, residential area. And suddenly motorcycle cop pulls out behind me and sirens on, lights on. I got so pissed off. I said, why the what? So I got so angry at the attitude on a loudspeaker on his motorcycle. Pull out I said, I am pulling over. Right, right. Hello. So I was so damn angry at the the challenging attitude. You know, they have a uniform on it, they think they mm -hmm. get away with it. Mm -hmm. You want to go say, take your uniform off, let's go. I mean, it's just, whoa. So I said, why did you turn on the siren now? There's no reason for it. Or a loudspeaker? What's the matter with you? You said that to him? I said to him, absolutely. I was furious. So, I had a, a shirt on with Titanic on it. And I guess he recognized me. I said, well, sir, I said, no, please don't come at me like that. Why are you doing that? It's unnecessary. Pull over. And uh, So you made sure he could see your Titanic? No, shirt? he just happened to see it. He, ha he saw it because he came in a, to the in window? A convertible. Oh, that's right. So, can I see your license? I said, yes, here we go. Boom. Now, a lot of those guys had seen the rap patrol for years and was I on yeah, I was in wine already. Yeah. So I got away with it. Mm. I thought, well, don't press your luck. Mm -hmm. The next guy's not gonna take kindly to that. So I just have four doors, you can't see anything. Got it. But they're fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good for you. I have a racing license. Well the greatest time I ever had was going to racing school. Bob Bondurant racing with my son. 
who is faster than I am. Wait, what, what is racing school? Racing school is where you learn how to race cars. Okay? And you get a license if you're good at the end. So as if you wanted to be a NASCAR driver or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the first step. Uh-huh. You know? So you took it with your son? Well, oh yeah. We were uh, racing school with my son, who was very fast. Very fast. It's amazing. You drive the same cars. We drove souped-up Mustangs. And then at the end of the course, you have a race, you know? And damn it, he beat me every time. I said, you son of a goddamn. And I couldn't keep up with him. He was faster, younger and faster. Wow.